Right, I wasn't going to make you a video about this. You must be getting sick of it now. Um, but this is what I've been doing. So this is what's going on my blog. I joined them together. I mentioned that yesterday in yesterday's post. So I joined them together down here. That's the join there. And it's just got white bullion knots on for the moment. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it like this or not with the three colours. Um, I might save that for somewhere over here to balance it out a bit. So, but, so it's got a seam with bullion knots. But look, it's got another... Wait a minute. Another pocket put in the seam there. A little green one this time. So there's a little green pocket there, and then there's a little lemon pocket here. A bit of thread. There. So it's also becoming known not as the gingham coverlet, but the gingham and little tiny pocket coverlet. So I'm thinking I need to work on some more of the silk. So I'm going to make and mark out piece of silk to go here and um, maybe later today now I don't really want another pocket in that seam because that when that gets joined because that might too many over here and not enough over here but what I might do when I come to do this bit here with the gingham I could put one over here somewhere so that's where I am so I don't even know what it measures um, at the moment, just let me get my tape measure. I think I banged the camera then, I'm sorry. If you do my classes, you'll be used to that. So width-wise, so far, 19 inches across that way. And then this way, lengthwise, but bear in mind we've got a big chunk missing there. But the longest edge at the moment measures. I mean, it's not going to be massive, this. It's only for me. 28 inches. So at the moment, it's 19 inches by 28 inches. In centimetres, for those of you who like centimetres, 48 by 71. So, yeah. So I think a bit of silk to go across there at the bottom here. And then I'm going to have to do gingham there because I don't want another piece of silk there. So a small bit of gingham for there, there. And then across here, I'm going to do half silk and half gingham, I think. But I'll wait because these kind of things are like my wrapping cloths and they just evolve as I'm working. I don't make any decisions before I start. I just start sewing and then whatever happens, happens. Um, so I'll make it work, I usually do. Um, and I'm going to be starting another class soon, well not soon, in September, um, that I haven't listed yet, a couple of weeks till I'll list it, but that'll be about making like a wrapping cloth, but it will be based on a storybook, so my patterning will be taken from a storybook. So this is kind of like good practice for me for that. I'll learn from this and either leave things out in the next one, or add things that worked because I very often make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes so if I learn from a mistake on this then I'll know not to carry it forward to my other piece that I'm going to make but having said that <clears throat> I've been making wrapping cloths forever seems like forever so I'm hoping I'm sufficiently intelligent enough by now not to make any obvious horrendous mistakes but you know if you're doing a different process in a wrapping cloth that you've never done before, then you can hit trouble and things. So, so anyway, so I'm glad this is evolving. Um, and like I say, that's my newest scene here with the little green pocket, which lies that way, actually. Which lies that way. So there. So you've got a quick video just for me to justify what I've been doing, basically. So you don't, oh, here she comes again. That bit of gingham, same bit of gingham, just a different bit she's took a picture of. Not true, not true. Look at all those bullion knots down there. And then this little pocket here. So it is different. 